excellent use of the feet. Wonderful strike all the way. Wonderful strike all the way. Second six. Advancing down the wicket, and from the moment she struck the ball, she knew it was going all the way for six. Watch how still she is. Don't want a ball there, two minded up. She's very strong in that area. But just a fraction too short there by Shabnam Ishmael. Didn't really get above the stumps, and Mandana's so quick to pick length. Well, Cross has come to the other end. And it's been less effective, is it? Last, um, last set of five, just dragging down. Cross pulling a slightly short. You can see Smriti Mandana, something she's very... Yeah, for this line and this shape, the field is wrong. Needs another fielder across on the leg side. You're holding a wicked, a wicked line. You need another fielder on to that leg side. Maybe third comes up and you drop another fielder back. To the attack, Maksud, another leg spinner. That's not going to spin. <laughs> Played five matches last year, De De Maksud picked up a couple of wickets. She's got international experience, having played for Scotland as well. Hit hard, pass mid off for four. The beat it off. Races away here. Hint of swing. Good to five deliveries left. And that's been clubbed leg side. That's the shorter boundary. We have our first six of the hundred. But when she wants power, she can be brutal. Clears the boundary with ease. Now becomes the leading six hitter. Mandana onto that very quickly. This is where she's so strong. She's good at picking up the length early. This is a lovely strike from Mandana. A sign of somebody in good form. Just getting the hold, lining up Shabnam Ishmael, who's just struggled to find. Just on the right hand side. Oh, it's got through. There's no protection there. Mandana. Lovely. Anyway. Anywhere from you could just pass it through the offside field. You want to keep it nice and tight to the left hander. Bowl at the pad. Well. Wonderful looking shot. Very elegant player. Just uh, a couple of steps down. May have got to her on the full in any case, but the way she glides down there. A little bit of shape. And that shape has just eased on to Mandanus. He's through the offside, needing points and cover. Yeah, it's going to go over the slip and rush away. She threw the kitchen sink at that. Over the offside. It hasn't got much of the strike, but just the speed of the bat swing, the power that she has, the long levers compared to Danny Wyatt, any sort of outside edge and the ball will fly. Oh, shot. What a shot. That is really high class. And hit the ball over the offside. Just lifted into the gap. I knew she didn't want to take on the six, take on the fielder, just pick the gap. And this time stepped out. Smriti Mandana going over deeper to get Sophia Dunkley just finds a way. Well, Mandana comes down and picks up again, uses the wind and. Dunkley as it goes, one-handed. Could she have gone with two hands? Wonderful shot. Again, great use of the feet. That is wonderful batting. Glides down, gets to the pitch, and uh, hits it with great confidence over the top. Back in the Trent Rockets' favour. She's gone big across the line and has picked the gap perfectly. Uh Not too much wrong with the delivery, but just knows exactly where the gaps are. Now she goes two straight, giving her the length to just get enough elevation for the boundary. 
tantalizingly close to Harris at square. <laughs> and this one pulled over mid wicket. It's good batting here from Smriti Mandana. I think they've got to learn and think quickly. One of the things that were really effective for the brave bowlers was taking pace off, and just because you're in the, the power play, so to speak, or the early parts of the innings. Pulled and pulled firmly for four. Too short in on the board. Off drives, through extra cover, over extra cover. She's also so quick to pick up length. Jarred the shoulder. What a shot, opening up the offs. She is such a quality batter. And again, just accesses the areas where there are gaps. Boundary riders are predominantly leg side. You've got three leg side and one at long off. This is where she is very, very strong, is straight down the ground. An elegant player, but she's also destructive as well. <laughs> Another short ball, another pull, and another boundary. Dana, she loves it on the leg side there. OK, yes, you can play smartly through the offside, but to get through that leg side from around the wicket is so easy. Short and absolutely nailed. That's the first one right off the middle, the meat of the bat. She just saw it early and just on that front foot, absolutely slapped it in front of square. Technically perfect, the arms reaching out to meet the ball well in front. Well, that's a very confident way to complete the power play. Moving nicely into position, Smitty and under them. She's been in excellent form. This time she's walked and she's tried to chip it between mid wicket and mid on and she finds the gap yet again. Third boundary in this five. And she just rolls the fingers, but unfortunately the line going down to the leg side means that it races away. She came into the line and just used the pace of the ball. Yes, she bowled a slow ball, but the pitch is so good. Ball coming on to the bat. Final ball of this set. Good effort in the field. Awkwardly as well. Catch oh, just over the fingertips. Couldn't quite get the jumper off. Well, Davis around the wickets tried the slower ball and it's gone wrong because Mandana picked the left with ease. That leg side boundary. We know she's good on the offsides, but now she's making use of that gap between deep mid wicket and deep square leg with a plum. It is good to watch.